Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. How are you? I hope everyone doing well. So today we will learn new things about plant. Okay, student. In this lesson, we will learn about the importance of a plant reproduction and then single plants different ways of reproduction and also technology in plant reproduction. The first subtopic, the importance of plant reproduction. We can see plants everywhere. Plants are very important to humans. We couldn't survive without plants. Can you think about how many ways we use plants in our everyday life? So here, the importance of plant reproduction. Okay, actually you can do some reading in your science uh, textbook, year 3. Plants always reproduce to increase their numbers and maintain their species. Why? Okay, look at this uh, first situation. Okay, there are many animals here. It's good for us that plants are always reproducing. Therefore, we are able to always get food. So, from the situation, we know that plants give us the food we eat. Okay, so plants are very important to humans and also animals. We eat plants in many different ways. Okay, what did you have for breakfast? Did any of your breakfast come from a plant? Mm -hmm. Okay, every day we eat our fruits vegetables okay all that comes from a plant okay situation two our habitat has been destroyed luckily there are still trees in the forest that are always reproducing we can find shelter there so from this uh, situation we know that plants uh, provide shelter for animals and then situation 3 wow the air here is a fresh that's because my friends and I are here to supply oxygen for you okay so we know that plants give us the air that we Brave. Plants take in a gas called carbon dioxide and release another gas called oxygen. Okay, we need oxygen in the air we breathe, so it's important plants keep doing that job. Okay, so plants are important to us because plants give air. Okay, plants give oxygen to human and animals to brave okay, situation four okay look at this uh, all these uh, furnitures we are made of wood it's good that the trees in the forest are still reproducing to supply wood okay so another importance of plant reproduction is supply wood Okay, reproduction in plants is important to life because it helps in uh, conser conserving and maintaining our food source, habitat, oxygen supply, and wood supply. Okay, other than that, okay, plants are also part of the clothes that we wear. Okay, materials like cotton uh, come from the cotton plant. Okay, so even our clothes made from the plant. Okay, and then plants also provide uh, or serve as a medicine. Okay, long ago plants were the only medicines used 
to help people get well okay for example tea tree oil aloe vera and evening uh, primrose oil are medicines that have been used for hundreds of years and are still used today okay so plants are a part of modern medicine too and then plants are also used for decoration Okay, like a wedding or a Christmas can be a special gift uh, for someone. Okay, sometimes uh, we give roses to friends, to mother. Yeah, who doesn't love beautiful flowers? Okay, so we have learned about the importance of plant. Okay, you could draw a mind map to show what is the importance of plant reproduction. So you can do this in your exercise book. Okay, this is the example. Okay, importance of plant reproduction. Okay, I list here four important of uh, plant reproduction. Okay, supply food to human and animals, uh, produce primary source of materials, and then provides a shelter for animals. Provides oxygen for humans and animals to breathe. Okay, you can just uh, copy down this in your exercise book or you can list down another importance of uh, plant reproduction too. Okay. Okay, we are going to go at another subtopic. Single plants, different ways of reproduction. Do you know that certain plants have more than one way of reproduction? So the examples of plants that have two ways of reproduction are sweet potato, basil, and water spinach. So let's look. Okay. This is uh, in your textbook, okay? The activity to uh, test the ways of uh, water spinach reproduction. Okay, you can try to do this at home actually. If you have uh, the water spinach seeds and water spinach uh, stem cutting. Okay, you can plant uh, this water spinach by using these two ways the stem cutting and also the seeds and then you do some uh, observation okay whether the shoot grow or no so let's look at the result so actually water spinach can be reproduced through stem cutting and also seeds. Okay, same with the basil. Basil also can be reproduced by uh, stem cutting and also seeds. For sweet potatoes, it can be reproduced by underground stem and also stem cutting. Technology also being used in plant reproduction. So this is the last subtopic for today. Let's look at the technologies of plant reproduction. The first one, tissue cultures. Okay, tissue cultures can produce new plants from tissues of a parent plant that are placed in a nutrient medium. Examples are banana plants and orchid plants. So you look here the steps of the plant tissue culture. Okay, the first step, tissue sample scrap from parent plant. And then the tissue sample placed in agar growth medium containing nutrients and auxins. Next, samples develop into tiny plantlets and the plantlets planted into compost so that it can grow. Ok, 
Okay, the other technology is uh, Macotouch. Okay, Macotouch can increase the number of plants without planting seeds. Examples are mango tree and lime trees. Okay, I will show you a video of how we can do a Macotouch to a plant. to select the tree that you want to mark out. And what you need is a mature plant that produces excellent quality fruit. So we've selected our Kahala Longan because we love these fruits. And it's a beautiful big tree, so it's going to give us a lot of options. And we can go around and select the best pieces of wood to make our markots. So step number two is selecting the branch that you want to mark out. And what you're looking for is something that has a quite nice form. So you've got to imagine that this is going to become your upright stem. So you want something that branches out in about three or four branches and has a nice straight central branch. So we've selected this branch and Dave's going to prepare it for us. You just remove any of the excess wood uh, branches and this basically allows him to see where he's working. He just clears off the stem where he's going to put the marcot. So it's just a matter of stripping back some of the leaves and branches and then he's just going to prepare it ready to make his cincha cut. So he's going to actually start by tying on a bit of string. This is going to form the pad and he does this because he's working on his own and it just makes it easier in his one man procedure. So this is in preparation for the final step, which is packing it out. So this is the most important part. And this is where you're gonna cut off the bark. So cinturing is ring barking the tree. So what you wanna do is you wanna take off all the outer bark down to the cambium layer. And you also wanna remove the cambium layer from the branch that you're marcotting. So Dave's got this lovely pair of old pliers that are his favourite tool for this job. And the reason he chooses those is because they're nice and rough and they're perfect for stripping the bark off the tree. So he's just using the teeth inside the pliers to just strip that bark back to the cambium layer. So it comes off quite easily. It's just the, <clears throat> the different layers of bark. So he's taking it down to the central core and then he's actually going to wipe off the cambium layer. Now, if you don't take off the cambium layer, you'll find that when you pack it, your bark will heal over and your marcot will be unsuccessful. So the idea of this, you want to clean off the cambium from this. You want to remove all the outer bark and the roots are going to form from this point here. So this area will callus and this is going to make the new roots and you're going to cut this off once it's formed roots. And this is going to be your new, new tree with a root system coming from here. So step five is packing out your marcot. And this is really important. So this is with a pre-made bag of Koya mix and it's got moisture in it. So it needs to be a little bit moist, but not wet. Uh, and this is going to keep this uh, cincture nice and moist and it's going to allow the roots to uh, grow into this porous mix. So Dave's just going to cut it open where he's going to put the branch. And this is what his sharp knife is for. And then it's just a matter of holding down the branch however you can. He's got his bit of string that he's prepared at the start of the um, technique. And then he's going to make sure that that Cincture is in the center of the pack of koya and he's going to firmly tie this around. So the plastic bag is going to keep that nice and tight. You don't want the rain and extra moisture or pests and insects getting into that bag. So you do need to tie it off quite tightly. So he's got a loose knot that he's going to pull that string around. And then he's going to tie this pack firmly onto this branch. So it doesn't move, it's not loose. The wind's not gonna move it, the weather's not gonna move it. The advantage of using a plastic bag is you'll actually be able to see the roots as they form into this, and you'll know when it's gonna be ready. But this marcot is gonna take about two months until it's ready to cut off. So we're doing this at the end of summer. So 
probably about uh, the end of April, May, we'll be ready to take these marcots off. Uh, we'll then put them into a heated poly house onto heated benches uh, so that they can continue to form roots when we pot them up. So you can see he's tied that off quite tightly all the way along that marcot and he's going to tie it off in a nice tight firm knot. So when you finish packing up your marcot, there's only just one other thing you need to do and that's just put a couple of drainage holes in the bottom of the bag and that's just in case there's any moisture gets into your bag, you need to be able to let it out. When it's ready to go, you're going to cut it off here. So this is the end result of your long and marcotting and this is a potted plant ready to go. This marcot is about four or five months old. So your homework for today, science activity book, page 47, 48 and 49. And then you need to copy this mind map in your exercise book. Okay, the importance of plant reproduction. You can just uh, copy down the list here or you can add up uh, some other importance of plant reproduction. So thank you and we will meet again in our next lesson.